A visual project pouring red sand in public places is shining a spotlight on sex trafficking that's happening here in Hawaii. And today we get a closer look at this issue and, and how together we can take a stand. HON2 has been shining a spotlight on the issue of child sex trafficking and working with Ho'olana Pua to do so. I'm here with Maya to find out more about an issue that is happening in plain daylight. Tell me about your mission uh, with Ho'olana Pua. So at Ho'olana Pua, we're committed to the prevention of sex trafficking and providing care for children who have been exploited. We really believe at Ho'olana Pua that every child deserves a bright future. And in your work, what have you discovered about how prevalent this issue is? So we know that this issue affects our entire community. It knows no bounds of socioeconomic status. We also know that this is happening and is threatening our local children. What was really astounding to find out based on our local research is that 64% of those that were trafficked as children did identify as Native Hawaiian. So what we've learned, unfortunately, is that the average age a child is first trafficked in Hawaii for sex is 11 years old. What we also know is that three out of four of these instances is happening. These kids are being trafficked by someone they know. These are important messages to get out, and I know you were involved on January 11th for National Human Trafficking Awareness Day in the Red Sand Project to do something visual to put this issue out there. Tell me more about that. The Red Sun Project is an art installation that was created by another activist. And the purpose of the Red Sand is to provide a compelling visual story about what is happening to our children that are being trafficked. They're falling between the gaps and they're falling into this darkness. And by pouring the sand onto the concrete and filling that gap, we're bringing light into it and making sure that we are making a huge statement as a community that we don't, we want to fill those gaps. We don't want our children to be lost in this horrible, horrible crime. And with such a visual red sand noting that, how do you think that helps in terms of community and the conversations that we can have? So what's really great about the red sand is you can do it together as a family in your own neighborhood. So I have two young sons under 10 and they were really excited to do a piece of art on the sidewalk in front of our house. And it really provided me as a mother the opportunity to have a safe conversation with my kids because all parents really should be having those safe conversations with their children about how to stay safe in public spaces, how to stay safe online. And connecting in an activity like that really allows you to not only show that love and time to your own child, but provide the safe space so that something maybe hopefully won't ever happen to them. How can someone watching get involved and support and be part of the solution to end child sex trafficking in the islands? First thing we always say is please be willing to talk about it. It is a very dark issue and it can be heartbreaking. What we really need, we really want to invite everyone to fill that heartbreaking with light and be moved to action. And that could be anything from having a conversation with other people in your community about the issue. So we really need caring, safe, trustworthy adults to volunteer to become mentors to the youth that we serve. And what's really important about this is what we find with those that have, that have survived this kind of trauma is they need to rebuild and have healthy relationships and feel empowered by those healthy relationships. We invite you to join us on our website and you can learn more ways that you can take action, including sharing your voice on social media and visiting our wish list where you can buy art supplies for our group sessions. Thank you so much for educating us and for your work on this and for allowing me to be part of the Red Sand Visualization Project. We will do more Shining the Light coming up a special on KHON2 Thursday at 9.30. And this is just one of the ways to put this topic, which is very sensitive, people don't like to think is happening in our own backyard by putting it out there with the Red Sand too. So the Red Sand Project uh, has been doing that and, and you know, just the simple bags like this, but it, it definitely makes you think about it and the symbolism of putting it into the crevices like that. So you don't want people to fall through the cracks too. So this is something like we said, we're gonna be focusing on all week long here leading up to our special. Uh, but we wanna know uh, if anyone out there needs help, know someone in danger, there are several 
federal hotline. So let's put the numbers up there for you right now. It's uh, for the Ho'olanapua 24-7 help and referral line. The phone number is 808-435-9555. You can also reach out to the state of Hawaii's Department of Human Services Child Trafficking at 808-832-1999 for Oahu or uh, toll free 888-398-1188 for neighbor island calls. And the National Human Trafficking Hotline is 888-373-7888. For more information, once again, just visit the website of the nonprofit we're partnering with to bring you all these important stories. It's uh, www.olanapua.org. I'm going to say that I feel a little naive to think that this wasn't a big problem here in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. uh, and apparently it is. So I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed a little bit at the moment, but um, I am looking forward to Thursday night. Yes, yeah, so we're going to uh, learn more about this from a lot of the stakeholders, people who've been working on it, because all the reports we're doing here lead up to our TV special, Shine the Light, Ending Sex Trafficking with Ho'olanapua. We're going to dive into the crisis more, uh, hear from a survivor as well, the challenges and how to be a part of the solution as we get a look at the new Pearl Haven campus for survivors, a big part of the healing and opportunities. Again, that is coming up Thursday at 9.30 on KHON2. It is definitely going to open your eyes, and that is why we're calling it Shine the Light. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that.